Okay, so this is a very quick video for today. We are going to test, I mean, four pin relay, how to test them, how to set your multimeter, things you have to do, the do's and don't. And we have part of these pins that will work on the ignition coil and then part of the thing that will work on the switch side. So we have numbers on these pins, as you've seen, I am going to show them. Before we start, to test a four pin relay with a multimeter, you need to check both the coil and the what switching mechanism. This is contact of the relay. Of the relay, a typical four pin relay has two pins for the coil and two for the what switching contact so this is what i'm saying these are the two pins for the coil so here we have pin what 85 pin 86 pin 85 pin 86 is for the coil pin 85 pin 86 is for the coil and these two pins is for the switching component so take notes of it well these are there are some numbers on it you can watch it and see it so here we have what 30 pin 30 we have pin 87 we have pin 86 and pin 85 these are the pins so the main two pins are the pins that we are going to test whether it has a continue or it don't have a continue so if you are watching it watch it carefully then take note so we have multimeter so you have to set it to the resistance or the continuity and this is what I have done. So I have set it to the what switching mode, which is on the what ohms for 20k ohms. And then we have to identify the pins. So we have a four pin release. These are the switching mechanism. These are the pins. So set your multimeter. That is the ohm position. Place the multimeter probes on the two pins once without continuity to the switching pins and expected you should see low resistance depending on the relay if the relay if the reading is infinite or show as no continuity the coil is likely broken okay so we are talking about this relay and this is not the coil ready so these are the things you have to know and let me just push on I have already explained a lot to you so these two pins are for the switching mechanism and these pins are right, the main what relay so we are going to tell them to figure out what is coming okay all right okay so we have 0 0.10 0 0.9 watt ohms 0 0.9 ohms 0 0.9 ohms this is what so these are the main two pins for the relay the two of these are for the switching mechanism so there is no need to test these ones so you have to test pin 86 and pin 85 these are pin 87 and pin what 30 for the switching mechanism on the field box side. So take note about it and then you can see the reading 0 0.009. It was 0 0.010 rather than it goes. So let's test another one too, which are the same thing. We are going to test this one too and figure out. Okay, 0 0.21. Okay, so it is reading 0 0.13, 0 0.13, 0 0.13, 20. Let's see how it will end. 0 0.10. Okay, so it is 0 0.20. Reading, there is more continuity. Okay, 0 0.10. So this really is what? Have more continuity and it works. 
that is how we test it if you find your video helpful please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button make sure you like the video make sure you share you comment subscribe as well these are the main release ways and these two is for the words switching mechanism thanks for watching this video bye bye